We have a really limited menu, so we try to do certain things and we do them as good as we know how, but we don't do a lot of things. So if it's not on the menu, we don't make it. So if you come in and you ask for something that we don't make, we just say, uh, we don't have that, but we do have this other thing. So we, we stick to the basic drinks. We try to focus on uh, non-milk drinks, Americanos, espressos, pour overs, and uh, I travel all over the world um, sourcing coffee and meeting coffee farmers and learning more about the processes and trying to manipulate what the coffees actually taste like. So we encourage people to try our coffees without milk so that you can actually taste the flavors that are in the coffees. Hi, I'm Brian Franklin, owner and roast master of Double Shot Coffee Company in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I roast coffee really manually. It's a craft for me. We don't use computers to control the roasting uh, or anything. So it's all sort of I have to use my senses to understand the coffee and to roast it appropriately and then taste them and see if I feel like I've done it right and then change the roast profile if I think I've missed it. But it's all sort of in that, there's like a knife's edge where I'm trying to hit the roast where you, you don't taste the kind of underdeveloped green taste of a coffee, but you taste like kind of the sweetness of a coffee and can understand the, the profile without the roast getting in, in front of what the aromatics are in the coffee bean. So everything we do is not to make money off of a customer. It's really, we're trying to create things that we think are amazing and give people amazing experiences. And, you know, of course they have to pay for those. That's how we exchange goods. But um, we have two full-time pastry chefs in our kitchen. So every day we make fresh goods that go in our pastry case that we think pair really well with the coffees that we serve. When I wanted to build a new building for the Double Shot, I wanted it to be an iconic building in Tulsa and something that when you walked in there you felt the vibe that the double shot actually has so i bought this barn that was built in 1850 in Bern, indiana by amish dairy farmers and we disassembled the whole barn brought it here and reconstructed it on the premises so when you walk in you see that uh, there's the barn beams are exposed and you can see you know you're in a working dairy barn and, and the then we, of course, added an atrium onto the front, kind of modernized some things. We put down uh, flooring upstairs that's from reclaimed um, boards that they used to make roads out in the oil fields in Osage County. And I bought brick from a, a Coca-Cola bottling, bottling plant that they tore down in Muskogee. So a lot of reclaimed stuff. We've got 70 solar panels on the roof to try and uh, generate. It gener generates about a third of our power. So a lot of sustainability, uh, reusing things and and trying to keep uh, you know, waste to a minimum. People sometimes tell me that they don't like coffee, and I always say, I don't like coffee either. And so come on down and try the coffee that I do like, which is double shot coffee. Uh, we work really hard to find and produce really excellent coffees and, and put them out for people who you know, don't know what coffee really is. And so we have made it our mission to share what coffee really is and try to explain to people why this coffee tastes the way it does. So I invite anybody to come down and have a real coffee experience with us at Double Shot. Mm -hmm.